hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Wynette and you are tuned into cooking with Win. into this video I'll be showing you guys how to make breadfruits gravy or breadfruits and gravy so for my ingredients I'm going to be using vegetable oil two cans of tinapa breadfruit onion habanero pepper and I also added in some garlic and you can use any seasoning of your choice okay we're not going to be adding in tomato paste because the mackerel that's in the can is in a tomato sauce so we're not going to be adding no tomato paste to this all right i first want to apologize for any bad quality in this video because i made this video when i was in liberia on my vacation okay guys i went back home and i enjoyed myself it was a great time so i decided to make a couple of videos while i was there so right now i'm currently cutting the breadfruit into half so it can be easier to peel the skin off of it okay and you also want to cut the middle part that looks a little red you want to get rid of that part as well as you can see i'm peeling the skin off of the breadfruit and once i'm done peeling the skin i will be cutting it into medium sized pieces Alright guys, so that's the breadfruit right there. I'm done cutting it. So once you're done cutting your breadfruit, you want to go ahead and wash your breadfruit. You want to wash it really well, okay? So once you wash your breadfruit, you can add it to the pot you're going to be cooking it in. Look at the cute little puppy, guys. This is the dog my sister wanted me to bring when I was coming back. But I couldn't bring it. The dog is so cute. And she was all in my video. Didn't even want to give me a chance. I don't know. She was trying to show her cute little self to you guys. But anyways... So I made this video the real traditional way. I didn't use stove. See, I wanted to keep it simple and local, okay? So I used the copper. I added the charcoal into the copper, light the fire, and now I'm currently blowing the fire, okay? So once my fire catch, I'll be adding my breadfruit to this. I'm about to say stove. I'm so used to saying stove. I was just about to say I'm gonna add my breadfruit to the stove. But no, I'm going to be adding my breadfruit to the copa, okay? Alright, so now that I'm done lighting my fire and everything, I'm going to add salt to the breadfruit. And then I'll be adding in some water. The water I'm adding is the water I'm going to use to cook the breadfruit. Now that I have my water on the breadfruit, I'm going to cover this pot and take it to the copa. So next thing I'm doing is peeling the skin off of the onion and then I'll be cutting my onions and grinding or blending my onions with the pepper okay so now as you can see i'm cutting my onions and guys you know my picky finger i hit my nails on the wall and i think it broke and it was hurting me so bad i had to pull on band-aid on my nails so you don't like i don't hurt it anymore but i know some of you are gonna be like oh why aren't you wearing gloves because i didn't have gloves number one and secondly i have my picky finger away from everything i'm making okay i know you guys are gonna be wondering why i'm not wearing gloves so i just want to let y'all know okay all right so this is the grinder you see that little thing over there that has the three little legs so i have the pepper in there i'm currently using this thing to i don't know the name guys so i'm sorry but um i'm using that to grind the pepper and once i'm done grinding the pepper i will be adding in my onions so if I was back in the States, I could have used my blender. But like I said, I was keeping this video local and simple. I wanted to use everything local. Do you see this, guys? Isn't this cute? It looks so cute. Like, I honestly wanted to bring one of this back with me to the States. But it's made out of metal and it's really heavy. So I felt like if I put in my suitcase to bring it, it was going to make my suitcase overweight. I felt so good mashing the pepper this way or grinding the pepper this way. I don't know. For some reason, I just enjoy grinding the pepper this way. Now that my pepper is all ground, I added in my garlic and some of the onions. I'm just going to beat the pepper and the onion together along with the garlic. And once they are all beat, I will be frying them. So now I'll be checking on my breadfruit to make sure I don't overcook my breadfruit because 
this thing it don't take long to cook if you forget about it it's gonna get really soft so you want to pay attention to it the same way you cook the cassava or the yuca and test the cassava the plantains the edibles to see if it's ready like the previous way that i show you guys in my cassava gravy video it's the same way i'm using so i'm gonna juke the fork into this once the fork go into it easily then that means it's ready but from looking at it i can tell that it's ready like i don't need to test it but i'm gonna test it because of you guys just to show you guys how you can tell that it's ready so you just want to poke the fork and once it penetrates the bread fruit then it's ready you don't need to cook it anymore so you want to take it from the stove drain the water and just let it sit down and cool okay so now i'll go ahead and open my tin pot guys if you have a can opener use your can opener do not use a knife so i'm back in liberia i don't have can opener since i don't have can opener i am using my knife to open my can if you have a can opener use it i'm not saying currently people in Liberia don't have can opener i said i do not have can opener at the moment so i am using knife to open my can if you don't feel safe to use a knife do not use the knife use a can opener or use anything that works for you but i'm comfortable using the knife to open the can that's why i'm using the knife to open the can okay i already had a pot on a fire with the oil and i just tested it to see if it was ready by adding a little bit of onion into the oil and as you can see it's ready okay so now that my oil is ready i'll be adding in my pepper and my onions into the oil i'm just gonna stir into the oil and i also realized that i need a little bit of oil so i just added a little more oil into the pot because i felt like the oil that i had in wasn't enough so i'm gonna stir that let it fry for a few minutes and i'll be back to check on it all right guys so what i'm doing right now is taking my cube from the package and adding it into the grounder because the cube is solid hard you can mash it with your hands or you can just put it into the grounder and just like break it into pieces like what i'm doing right now and i'm just going to add it into my pot so now that i have my cube into my pot i'm just going to stir it and mix it into my pot and just let it fry for about six to seven minutes and after that i'll be back to check on it i'm gonna check on my pots and i'll just stir it to make sure it's not burning i added water into the pot and i'm just gonna stir it in and i'll be adding in my tenapo it's called macro and it's in tomato sauce as you can see on the can but i'm just calling it tenapo because i'm so used to calling it tenapo but it's called macro and i'm just gonna stir it in taste it to see if it's seasoned if it's not go ahead and adjust your seasoning okay so i'm gonna let it fry for a few minutes and i'll be back to check on it i'm gonna check on my gravy make sure it's not burning i'll give this seven minutes to cook but yeah guys so this is it this is the final product my breath fruit is ready and my gravy is ready as well so once you reach this stage you are all done all right you can dry your stew or your gravy all the way or you can leave a little bit of water in it. I left a little bit of water in mine because I didn't want it completely dry. But yeah guys, so this is my breadfruits with tinapa gravy or breadfruit and gravy. So this is the finished product. Once the breadfruit is ready, this is how it's gonna look. I just wanna thank you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos like and share with your friends and family and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern and also do not forget to check out my other youtube channel it's called all things winnet subscribe like and share i appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye